Yo, what is up guys? For today we're talking about Destiny 2 now. Specifically, we're going to be looking at some of the things that are coming back in the next couple of seasons and in year four. So, Luke Smith actually ended up telling us that the Cosmodrome, Will of the Crota, or Will of Crota, Will of the Crota, fuck. Cosmodrome, Will of Crota, Devil's Ruin, and Fallen Saber are coming back in season 13. So if you guys don't know, Cosmotrome is actually the first uh, Earth location in Destiny 1. It's actually my favorite location. I like the EDZ, don't get me wrong, EDZ is pretty cool. But in my opinion, Cosmodrome was the best. It was dope as fuck. It's, it's, mm, I'm, dude, like the amount of hype I, like I had when I heard that Cosmodrome was coming back, it's, it's otherworldly because I love the Cosmodrome. That's where we all first started. That's where, that was the first mission. We all started there. That's like the birthplace of Destiny 1. So for me specifically, I, I got hype as fuck. The Will, or Will of Crota, Devil's, uh, Devil's Lair, and then Fallen Saber, those three strikes are coming back as well. And if you guys don't know, Will of Crota is the one with uh, Omni Ghoul, if I'm not mistaken. Devil's Ruin is with Sepix, which is fucking awesome because Sepix was the beta strike. This strike was the strike. Guys, I know people who have not run that strike. That strike was fire. I'm really excited for that strike to come back. No fucking lie. Fallen Saber, I thought it was pretty interesting that they chose that one. Not saying it's bad or anything. I love that one as well. Uh, basically, the last boss was like this upgraded Shiv and it's cool yeah no 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 complaints you it starts off as solar and then starts off all right does it start off at yeah it starts off as solar then arc and then void i think so that one's gonna be cool though the thing that i got excited about was what he said is that vault of glass is coming back in year four now obviously there's so many questions to this alone like are we getting the armor? Are we getting the the moment or what was it called? Moments of triumph, I think. Moments of triumph. No, whatever it's called, I'll probably have it on the screen right now. Are we gonna have that armor as well, like the upgraded armor? Are we gonna have all the weapons? Are we gonna have? It's just so many. Like, are they gonna come back as exotics, dude? So many questions. And it's honestly like the. I'm, I'm not even asking like is it gonna be fun i know it's gonna be fucking fun i don't need to ask that question dude they like luke was saying oh yeah we're gonna bring back we're gonna bring it back but we're gonna like change it so instead of praetorians you're gonna have champion praetorians and i was like oh my god that sounds fucking wild dude i'm so for this this is gonna sound fucking cool once we play this shit we're gonna lose our mind vault of glass for a lot of people is the raid is like that's when they think of Destiny raiding, that's what they think about. Me, personally, I don't think about it. That was not my first raid. It's probably why I don't think about that. For me, my first raid was actually Crota. Crota was my first raid. I know people are like, oh, that's so sad. Not really. Crota was a lot of fun for me. But, yeah, Vault of Glass, dope as fuck. Cannot even fucking... Dude, the amount of hype, bro. The amount of fucking hype. The only thing is that... The only thing I kind of question now is... This, since they're adding Cosmodrome, three strikes, and a fucking raid from old Destiny 1 into Destiny 2. I really, like, I really wish that Destiny 1 and Destiny 2 just kind of merged together. Like, I mean, completely merged together. Because it just feels weird having Destiny 1 stuff in Destiny 2, considering that Destiny 2 is, like, in a different, like, time. But that's just probably me looking into it more than I really should be. Overall, Cosmodrome coming back already hyped me up. Having the three strikes come back, I'm probably going to play those three strikes a fuck ton. Those are my favorite strikes. Some of my favorite strikes. And then Vault of Glass? Bro, if they bring us Vault of Glass with either all the old armor and new armor or just the old armor. Bro, easy. Easy. Bro, I'm... I'm super excited because now we, we're going to have a second armor that's like 
that Vex in, uh, inspired. If you guys don't know the season of the Undying, we had the the Vex armor from the season pass. The only reason I'm excited for this, or one of the reasons I'm excited for this, is because I can actually start transmogging my armor with different pieces of Vex armor, which is awesome in my head, guys. It's I'm just happy. Like this is this is a type of information that I like. This got me hype. I will say the stream showed a lot. And ultimately, I was just like, okay, cool, like, whatever, whatever. But then I started hearing more, and I was like, okay, okay. I don't want to say that I'm super hyped because I am, like, tempering my expectations. I am trying to, like, calm myself because this is this is the, the, the me that gets disappointed after I play certain DLCs. Like, Shadowkeep kind of flopped, in my opinion. Like, it wasn't like a flop. Okay, so let me explain myself. Shadowkeep was great. It was dope as fuck. I had a lot of fun. But I saw I saw things that I was just like, whatever, like I don't like it. Uh, whatever. You know? So let me know what you guys think. I Cosmodrome coming back dope. Willa Crota, Devil's Lair, and Fallen Saber coming back, dope. Vault of Glass coming back. I was not a thing I was expecting. And what kills, what fucking kills me the most is he, as Luke Smith said, Vault of Glass and more. So we might get like fucking, dude, if we get Wrath of the Machine back, if we get Crota back, I would probably lose my fucking mind. Especially Crota. If they keep Crota to how it was, where you could solo it, I'd probably cry a little because Crowdo to me was a lot of fun. A lot of people are like, it's just a long strike. Yeah, you can eat my ass. I don't give a fuck. It's one of my favorite raids. It's one of my favorite just everything. I like the armor was dope as fuck. The weapons, dope as fuck. And you can't even tell me that I'm wrong because the hand cannon slapped when he came out. And the fucking sniper rifle was godly. Literally, they had to nerf that shit. They made an exotic out of it. It's... Oh, it's great. Like, what can I say? <laughs> so, yeah. I, As you guys can see, I'm hype as fuck for these changes specifically. Because we get to see them in Destiny 2. Uh, like I said, there's so many things I wish. Like, I really wish they just went into a new engine. Because I know the engine is what's really fucking them up at this point. I really wish that Destiny 1 and 2 would just merge together and just become Destiny. There's a lot of things I wish for. But... This is great. This is a good change. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you guys excited for the new location that we're going to have? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, things are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. And other than that, I'll see you guys later.